largely um, what it means to be an anti-oppression social worker is you know really taking in consideration um, those multiple layers of oppression so whether we're talking about poverty race sexual orientation or gender you know someone who's an anti-oppressive therapist is really going to hold those layers of oppression in their mind in terms of engaging with the person i'm also recognizing as well as you know everyone possess um, power and oppression right so we all experiences levels of power so power could be economics it could be um, as well as political alignment it could be um, also education right so we all have those accesses of power and we could as well have these accesses of oppression um, largely due to systemic like sexism or systemic anti-black racism you know and all these things um, interact with each other so when I work with people, I'm holding um, all those layers of um, oppression as well as power, and I'm trying to tease it in or weave it into some of my questions, right? So when people work with me, you know, we're talking about anxiety. We're not just simply talking about anxiety. We're also talking about what are the factors or the social conditions which escalates people's anxiety? Right. Um, a lot of like trauma work is recognizing like triggers, um, learn how to identify those triggers um, so people don't feel swept away when it happens. It's mainly just identifying and affirming um, that the human experience is not neutral. And there are systemic factors, um, there's historical factors, or why everyone doesn't have the same experience in the world. So largely, when I talk about power and oppression, it's really just having a fuller picture of the human being, right? And, and of course, I'm not, a conversation is just being limited to oppression or in power, um, but it's also about people's gifts. Um, it's also a, a about uh, people's family history. It's a lot of different things. Um, but essentially, when I'm communicating to people that I'm an anti-oppressive therapist, is I'm just letting them know that I'm not going to be neutral on issues about race. I'm going to talk about race. I'm going to talk about sexual orientation. I'm not going to have like uh, a muted response to those issues. Um, which some people experience harm by therapists who have a muted response to those issues that don't really hold space for like, you know, what it's like to be a queer person in a very heteronormative space where everyone's talking about, you know, like, um, like legal rights that they may not actually have. Um, so it's just around really, really, um, holding those identities in your heart as well as your mind when you're working with people.